Let's start from the awful and move our way up to the truly inhumane. Number 10. The Swedish Drink The first use of this method of torture is recorded to have happened during the 30 year war. It was used by Swedish mercenaries during raids on German villages to get information out of civilians. The drink itself was a simple mixture of urine and human and animal feces. The civilian would be held down and force fed that mixture. Not to mention this could cause death due to creating a bacterial infection. Because of how much liquid the victim drank it would expand their stomach causing massive amounts of pain. To make it worse, the mercenaries would start squeezing their stomachs with food and planks. Number 9. Ling Chi Ling Chi, translating to death by a thousand cuts, is a Chinese torture and execution method from the 10th century AD. It was used mostly in China but also in other countries like Vietnam and Korea. And it was reserved only for the worst of the worst. It starts off with the executioner slowly removing chunks of the victim's torso until their ribs were out of their body. Then he would move on to their limbs, removing the skin and then the meat until the only visible thing was the bones. You might think it happened many centuries ago, but in reality the last recorded instance of the use of this torture was in 1905, before being outlawed two weeks later. Number 8. The Judas Cradle The Judas Cradle can be split into two categories. The first is the not fun one, a four-legged slanted triangular top and the second one a more fun three-legged pyramid top and I am only going to talk about the fun one as it's the worst out of the two. First the victim would be stripped down naked and placed on the pointy bit positioned so the spike would go up their hole. Their body weight alone would cause severe pain as it would start pulling their body down impaling it even more. To make it worse the surface would be lubricated to allow easier entry and if the body weight wasn't enough the victim would have weights tied to their legs to pull them even more down. The victim could feel their body being penetrated and slowly ripped apart. The person doing the torture could keep applying more or less pressure making it even more painful. This method could be fatal if too much blood was lost or a vital organ got penetrated. But even if they made it out alive the method often caused severe infection which would eventually lead to death. Number 7 The Rat Cage The rat cage was first recorded to be used in 1568 during the Eight Year War by a Dutch leader Deidrik Sonoy. The punishment started with a rat being placed inside a clay ball and then placing it upside down on the victim's head, chest stomach or groin. The back of the ball would then be heated, scaring the rat who would be desperate to escape the heat and there was only one way out of it. The rat would start to burrow into the human, then once inside it would still chew and burrow through everything in its way until finally the rat would make it out alive, unlike the victim. There's also a more recent use of this torture method used during the reign of Chile's dictator Augusto Pinochet, who was in control from 1973 to 1998. The name for it was the rectoscope, in order to get information out of a prisoner. They would place a tube on the prisoner's ass and put a rat inside the tube, which shortly after the rat would start to burrow inside. Number 6. The Cat's Paw The Cat's Paw or the Spanish Tickler was a torture and execution device used during the Spanish Inquisition. The cat's paws were basically metal wolverine claws. The victim would be tied up and then slowly tickled with the paws, often till the skull was visible. If the victim didn't already die by bleeding out, then the infection that the paws caused would definitely finish him off. Number 5. The Breaking wheel. The breaking wheel was used as a torture and execution method from ancient Greece all the way to the early 19th century. The wheel could have been used in many ways. The most common way originated in medieval Europe when the victim would be tied to the wheel and then have all their limbs broken. Sometimes they would even be impaled on a stick and left to die. Another method would be used as a form of execution. The executioner would grab the wheel and start dropping it on the victim from their feet all the way to their head. Sometimes sharp pieces of wood would be placed placed underneath the victim to make it even more painful. Then the final not so common method of using the breaking wheel was the victim being tied to the outside of the wheel and then the wheel was rolled down a hill killing them. There were however many more ways to use this torture method. Number 4. The Brazen Bull Perhaps the most famous torture method ever, the Brazen Bull originated in ancient Greece. It was a life-sized replica of a bull made out of bronze. It had an opening on the outside which the victim was put in. When the victim went into the Brazen Bull, a fire was lit underneath it, slowly heating the bull and roasting the victim alive. But to make it appealing to the audience, it had other special features, like special pipes that made the victim scream sound like noises a bull would make. 
and did the only escape for the smoke being through the nostrils of the bull. Number 3. Bamboo Torture Bamboo torture was used throughout most of East and South Asia, usually in countries such as China, India, with most cases coming from Japan. It started off with the victim being tied up and laid flat on a bunch of bamboo in the ground right before it started to sprout. Some species of bamboo being able to grow up to 1 meter in a single day, the sharp top of the bamboo would start to penetrate through the victim until it would reach the vital organs, killing the victim on the spot. Some less common cases included the victim being tied and made to sit on a bamboo plant which would start growing into their anus and end up going out their mouth. Number 2. Dungeon of the Rats The Dungeon of the Rats took place during the medieval ages in London. It was a cell located underneath the London Tower. In the cell the prisoners were shackled in darkness not being able to see anything but the worst was yet to come. The cell was connected to the river Thames exactly below the river's waterline, meaning that once it rained and the water levels rose. All the rats living next to the river would be forced to swim downstream and into the dungeon. In the total darkness, all the prisoner could hear were the footsteps that would slowly multiply into the hundreds. The rats would start taking bites out of the prisoner and he would have to fight them in complete darkness. Eventually passing out from exhaustion, the prisoner would wake up with dozens of small bites taken out of him. The prisoners would be kept in that dungeon for up to multiple weeks, having to deal with this every few days. Number 1. Scafism Scafism is an ancient form of punishment used by the Persian Empire and it was only done on people convicted of murder. The criminals would be placed on their backs inside a boat and tied down. The boat had four holes for the prisoners' arms and legs so that they would be outside the boat and touching the water. Then another boat was nailed on top of the boat making it look and feel like a coffin. The criminal was then force fed a mixture of honey and milk until their stomachs were full, a mixture that causes severe diarrhea. Then the prisoner would also be covered in the milk and honey mixture mixture before being sent out into the water. The sweet mixture mixed with the diarrhea would attract all kinds of bugs, rats, wasps, bees, worms and flies. The prisoner was regularly fed the mixture on a daily basis so starvation wasn't a problem. The animal slowly eating away at the victim while he is alive and can't do anything about it was the problem. This is Figmedia, thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed.